Okay, so here is how we uh, make these um, little supercells. Well, that is the one we've seen in the uh, first video on these cells. Uh, the new one that has had um, four cycles done on it, or four processes. That's all it's had, so we'll be looking at that before we go ahead and put this new one into our uh, gear. Anyway, um, it's got our zinc plate. Like I said, that's a bit of wall plate. It's full of holes. It would be better if it didn't have holes. Just a zinc plate. A bit of copper plate. That's probably about uh, oh, 08 mil thick, something like that, 0.7. So not very thick, the zinc's 1 mil. But um, thinner will be alright because we're not actually going to be peeling the zinc off. We're basically going to be making a super capacitor that um, loves being pulse charged and um, recovers quite well. And this is for our new setup, as you know. Our new machine we're going to start building tomorrow. Okay, you're going to need just a glass that your cell's actually going to fit into. I could probably use a bit bigger one. Multimeter, 100 ohm resistor, 50 ohm, whatever kind of load you want to put on it to do your um, differential testings between um, a new cell like this and one that you've reconditioned or conditioned. And a power supply. Um, our first conditioning will be at 1.7 volts and then we'll go up to 2 volts. That will do for a start. And the other thing you're going to need is this liquid here. Extremely dangerous, extremely expensive. No, just kidding. All you're going to need is white vinegar. And that's all we need. No other chemicals whatsoever. So our white vinegar is going in the glass. Yay! And first we're going to test this cell. We've done four cycles on. See how that's holding up. So our voltmeter is of course across our 100 ohm resistor. And um, I actually tried something a little different with this. Um, after each cycle I dried it with the uh, heat gun. You can use a hair dryer, I guess, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. So instead of drip drying, I'll dry it with a heat gun and done another cycle. So we've done four all up on this one. So we'll plonk him in there. I've made out a striped wire hair negative, which will bend out the road. And the other one, of course, is positive. That is our cell across a 100 ohm load after just four cycles. As you'll see, it takes about, um, by the time you've done your uh, two minute input charge, dried it, let it sit for a minute, so you know, four or five minutes between cycles. But that's only four, that's only been cycled four times, or conditioned four times. And that's absolutely fantastic. That is holding 965 millivolts across a 100 ohm load. Just starting to drop down. Fantastic. So, um, so as we don't make this video so long, we'll get that out of the way. Just uh, aim over here, over my door handle, so it can drip dry. And then I'm going to put another cycle through it, make it a little better. So we're starting off with a brand new cell. It's had nothing done to it. Hasn't even been in the juice yet. <laughs> so we'll put it in there. Oh, now it doesn't fit in the glass. We can push it down. You want to need to be glass. Okay, so um, our white wire, which is that one, I haven't sold the ends on this, I should have done that. Now we're going to see how this cell does across our 100 ohm resistor 
um, kind of a time we get out of it, so we'll hook it up now. Oh, not too bad at all. And of course that cell is nearly twice the size of the others. So not too bad. Probably chuck another hundred ohm load across that. Uh, drop it down to fifty. Make things a little quick. I haven't had one right there from the last test. Put those on. One on there. One on there. Doing extremely well. So, um, like I said, it's uh, twice the size of those ones. Um, so we could expect it to uh, do a little better. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put it into its first cycle. What I'm going to do actually is. Uh, I think. I don't know. hard one handed. I'm putting it down on the ground. I'm just going to do it like this. Positive to positive plate or cathode, negative to anode, which is the zinc plate. Okay, so we're ready. So we're just going to hit the go button, 1.7 volts, probably 116 milliamps, 104. So we need to leave that for a couple of minutes, at least, and um, then what we'll do is uh, take it out and dry it, put it in for another couple of minutes, cook it, take it out and dry it, and then we'll stick it back in, put it back on the multimeter, and uh, see how we went. Now, the reason for doing this mainly is so that we don't chew our zinc off our zinc plates. I have tried stainless, did have some success, up to about 0.7 mm volt. However, it didn't hold as well as the um, this cell does, and it was probably because the stainless that I used was... Um, polished. So the uh, graphene is what we're making. Had nothing to really stick to like it does with the rough finish of the gelf. So um, I'll stop the video here so it's not too long and I'll give it two cycles like we're doing here. So two minutes like this, take it out, dry it, another two minutes and we'll stick it back on the load. Okay, so we've done two two-minute cycles, and I dried it with the hair dryer or with the heat gun. Um, don't get it too hot; just warm enough so it um, evaporates the moisture in there, and um, may help the graphene crystallise. So, uh, one other thing you'll notice after a while, after you've done a few cells, your cells will start your um, juice is going to start to go bluey green. That's from the copper. Keep that. Use the uh, bluey green stuff to condition your cells and the new stuff to test your cells in. Um, otherwise, you're going to end up with that copper going onto your uh, zinc plate. So, um, we're going to stick this back in our bath here. Now, I have the, uh, our current meter hooked up now on milliamps so we can see what kind of current we're getting out of it and, of course, our voltage over our 50 ohm load. that down in the juice ok 
okay which one's the white striped one that one so that one's our negative and I did forget the solder at the ends and that one there is the positive so here we go so um, doing pretty good at the moment 18.29 milliamps holding voltage reasonably well and it's just after two cycles it's doing extremely well after two cycles And you'll find um, every cycle that you do, you can um, drop the voltage down closer to the one volt that the cell will have across it. So after your fourth cycle, drop it down to about 1.3 volts. It'll consume very little current, but it will charge back up extremely fast. And that's how we do it. <coughs> that's not bad for 18 milliamps. It's holding pretty good with just two cycles done on it. And our little one, you've seen done quite well as well. That only had four cycles on it. And my good one, that kept up with the super cap. Um, well, that was actually that one. The other one here is hanging off the table. Um, this one here that kept up pretty well with our 25 farad super cat, super cap, um, that's had poor pulse charges all through the day. I was just mucking around trying to get the process right. So we can't get it much easier than this guys, all we need is some white vinegar, copper and a zinc plate, um, a bit of power, a couple of multimeters, and uh, you can do all this right on your workbench. The cell's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would after just two cycles. I bet you that one would kick the um, super caps bum. So, um, yeah, we were doing this um, after much mucking around. I actually split the cells apart. I'm actually going to do that right now. I'll show you the nice black graphene coating that we're getting. I probably just chopped the wrong one. I did. I only had to chop this middle one to get the cell apart. It's that light grey coating we're getting. Now that it's dry, it's dark grey when it's wet, of course, but when it's dry, it's light grey. And, um, you can see where the straps were, the original zinc, but um, that light grey is covering our zinc, so our zinc doesn't get um, all chewed up, and that is actually graphene. And we can keep coating that and coating that with every cycle that we do. So do a two minute cycle, dry it nice and thoroughly so it's nice and dry like this, and um, do another cycle and that actually keeps building up the more cycles you do, the more charge it holds. This cell is doing really, really good across a 50 ohm load. Really good with just two cycles, guys. So there you go. It doesn't come much easier than that. Uh, see you on the forum, I guess.